Political debates are common at American University, but for ATV, the campus television station, one debate got out of control. Josh Wellman approached our group first by email, saying that he was going to have a debate and would like to have a student from Ausvi and a student from Students for Justice in Palestine on his show. This was three weeks ago, when Palestine went before the UN asking for statehood. The producers of the talk show, Capital Politics, wanted to do a short debate on the issue. They asked two student groups to participate. They called a meeting with Students for Israel and Students for Justice in Palestine. We weren't anticipating any difficulties from either SJP or uh, AUSFI. Um, so we had that meeting in advance just in case any difficulties did arise. Basically that brought up a lot of concerns. SJP had one or two, but it was mostly Students for Israel. Students for Israel didn't like the confrontational debate format of the show. They refused to go on and the episode was quickly canceled. Capital Politics producers tried to change SFI's mind, but their emails were never returned. Then, about a week later, this editorial appeared in the Eagle. The title, Why AU Students for Israel Refused ATV's Invite. My first reaction was, honestly, what, what, what the hell is this? Why is this being made public? This was a thing we could have dealt with behind closed doors. The article lays out AUSFI's argument for not coming on the show. They said it would have been unfair to pit the two student groups against each other. We don't really support debates. We support, you know, open discussions. But the producers of Capital Politics still felt blindsided. I understand if they were talking about some of these things as a group behind the scenes. I just would have preferred they had emailed me before they ran that piece in the Eagle. You know, for lack of a better term, it was kind of a defamation of Capital Politics, of my producer, Josh Feldman, of myself, uh, and also of the whole ATV network here. Uh, I'll flip the lights here in the back when you guys need to wrap up, okay? Okay. All right, cool. The Israel-Palestine episode of Capital Politics was never made, but the producers still feel like they missed an opportunity. Students for Israel and Students for Justice in Palestine, pretty big organizations on campus. I figure if we bring these people in to share their views, I don't know, might, might help me. Like, it's an educational experience, not just for viewers, not just for our hosts, but also uh, for me as well to, to learn about people's points of view and something I didn't know before. At American University, I'm Zach Drescher reporting.